Pisces, welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be for the sign of Pisces. It's not going to resonate with all of you out there. This is also not Sun, Moon, or Venus sign specific. Any Pisces placement you resonate with, the messages may also resonate with you. Personal reading info, any jewelry seen, all linked and listed. We'll put oracles at the end, give you some guidance for the week. Otherwise, here we go. First card out is the Four of Pentacles, Five of Swords. I do only take jumpers, so I appreciate the patience. King of Wands, Fire Sign Energy, Aries Leo Sag. Justice card, Major Arcana for Libra Energy. Some of you, your finances have not been doing so good. A bit of penny pinching here with that Four of Pentacles. That's my Grinch card, holding on to every single cent. Being a little bit cheap, but it's necessary, most likely, if you're being this way. It does say that uh, that's about to balance out here with the Justice Energy. Maybe some of you are dealing with some sort of legal matter that's also draining all your money, well, your money, your um, and money energy, maybe. Yeah. So, you know, you feel like you kind of have to cut back and be conservative a bit with the penny. I don't blame you. The economy is tough, but it does say there is some sort of balancing. Maybe that's some sort of Jupiter energy. It's going to help balance out that finances. You also have two fives here in your present position. Five, five could be important to you. So that also signifies a definite change that is coming. Some of you definitely have a legal matter here that you have been battling, fighting, you know, dealing with. That's definitely draining your coin. But look at this. Ten of Swords, Ten of Pentacles, and the Knight of Swords. Air sign energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, heavy on the air sign. Fast. Something's about to change real fast here. For some of you, it's also a business or something that you have started for yourself that has not been doing so good. A lot of your money is wrapped up in whatever sort of entrepreneurship effort that you are making. And that's also about to change dramatically too. Bottom of the deck is the Queen of Cups. Yeah, you're doing something you love. You're doing something out of love or for the love of something. Whether it's your new business or your whatever this King of Wands is representing. Could definitely represent a person too. But I do think um, for some of you, you have, you're trying the entrepreneurship thing. You love doing something. You're trying to monetize it. And it's been tough. The Four of Pentacles tells me it's been tough. The money hasn't been coming in the way you, you, you would have liked it to, obviously. But that's about to balance out here. Lots of change coming. And you're ending with the Ten of Pentacles, going from the Four to the Ten. It's like overnight. It's giving me that vibe of uh, five years to take an overnight success. It's like, And it's funny because you got two fives here. Things have been going very slow for a long time. And then all of a sudden, boom slow no more very very fast movement here it's like you wake up and there's like you know a whole bunch of money in your account money that's going to definitely stabilize the future right and it's like maybe you're at the point where you're contemplating if you should keep doing this because you do love doing it but it's not paying the bills right so it's like should i should i continue to invest in this i really love doing it judgment Eight of Wands. For those of you that are dealing with a legal matter, you are going to get what you deserve. Whatever side of the coin you're on, most of you, you will be on the side of the coin where you deserve some compensation. And it looks like you're going to get it. It looks like there's been some fighting. Could be some sort of custody battle too or custody energy here with the Five of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles. Family. Maybe family's been trying to fight you for some money that's not theirs. Because the Five of Swords tells me it's not theirs. The Five of Swords is also an energy of guaranteed win. So if you're worried about any sort of legal battle that you're do, dealing with right now, you're worried of, you know, the outcome, no need to worry. It's a guaranteed win. You are going to win. I mean, you are fighting, but you are going to win. You are going to come out with exactly what it is that you're, you're needing. Probably a lot more than you're expecting, too. Probably a lot more than you're expecting. Judgment energy, Eight of Wands. Yeah, more energy of that movement forward. The decision, see, judgment and the justice, definitely legal matter for some of you that is draining your pockets. You have some sort of lawsuits and you've been paying your money towards trying to win, you're going to win. The five of swords, guaranteed win. Whoever it is that you're fighting with, bickering, it's out of drama and pettiness. And maybe you're going to use this money to fund some sort of um, entrepreneurship energy. That could also be the advice because that is your outcome. When you do get this money, don't be dumb. Don't be dumb with it. Use it to um, create more money. That's very much King of Wands energy. Use it to create more money. But things are about to get moving. You're leaving a period of um, confusion behind. And it looks like whoever it is that's kind of trying to bring you through the mud, they're going to regret it. 
they're very much going to regret it. It also could be that you're not seeing that you're about to win. You're still focused on sort of the way things are going. All right. I am getting heavy finances energy for this. So. Obviously, this could be love. And if it is love, you're most likely dealing with a past situation here. You're dealing with a past situation that has not been so good. There's been a lot of fighting, a lot of bickering, a lot, a lot of not seeing eye to eye. But it is, it is telling me the situation will come around. The situation will come around and there is potential for long-term stability within the connection. Could be a conversation that needs to be had here. Especially with the judgment and the Knight of Swords. Looks like you could need to talk to somebody. But more of this, you don't see this coming though. You're not expecting the best is the vibe that I'm getting, which is no good. <laughs> you get what you expect a lot of the time. So, guidance for Pisces, please. This is a love-specific situation, or romance-specific, I should say. Thank you. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy and give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. So, there was 50-50 split with that. 50-50 split with that. Some of you will be releasing somebody. That could also be clearing up the karma for you. And some of you will be trying this again. You are having some sort of hard time within a connection. For some of you, it's your spouse. Someone you've been with for a very long time. It is saying there will be a decision to sort of... Uh, maybe uh, counseling? With the judgment and justice, maybe some counseling is needed. All right. What is the guidance for Pisces, please? Some sort of action is going to be taken, though. It could also, there definitely seems to be a conversation that needs to happen, though. This is a relationship because the Four of Pentacles tells me, you know, not everything is being said. And that's what's creating the blockages. Not everything is being expressed. There's too much holding back. You need to just get it out, especially with the Eight of Wands and the Knight of Swords. Get it out. Speak the truth. That's what's actually going to balance the situation out. That's what's going to create the change. Because it looks like both parties want change. Dolphin spirit, this and that are true. This is being able to see both sides of the situation. And koi for spirit. So if this is anything to do with money, get ready. There is always enough. That's abundance right there. Koi fish is all about prosperity financially, especially. But prosperity in general. So being able to see both sides of a situation. Guidance for Pisces. Prosperity lies ahead. Yeah, more abundant energy. New moon in Taurus. Taurus is all about luxury and the finer things in life and being pampered and, you know, that sort of thing. Maybe now you're finally going to be able to do it. And let's grab one of these. But definitely huge change. Double emphasis on the change with the two fives here. Whoever's been trying to stop your shine, that's not going to that's not going to be happening much longer. They're going to get what you de they deserve, and you're going to get what you deserve. And I think they're going to be very regretful at the way they dealt with you. Once they see you on the up and up, that's how it goes. Isn't it? Okay. Warrior woman, have you answered your deepest calling? That's the Queen of Swords energy. So this is being able to see things clearly. And it's like, uh, don't take no prisoners. It's funny we're talking about legal matters here, but this is very much don't take no prisoners. You got to fight for your rights. That's how you win. You got to do, because it's out of love. In some sort of injustice, especially if this is a legal matter, maybe you got to get out of this Queen of Cups mode, which is obviously you. Get more into that Queen of Swords mode and stop being less, less emotion, more logic. Okay. More facts. Facts over feelings. Yeah. Facts over feelings, Pisces. <laughs> Guidance, please, for Pisces. Facts over feelings. Too much feelings. You can recover from anything. Your resilience is unmatched. Yep. It's all about your mind right now. Your mind is uh, what's creating your reality. So if you think it's going to work, it is. If you don't, it's not. Choose which side you want to be on. That's also this energy of uh, this and that are true. If you say you can't, you can't for sure. If you say you can, you can which side of the coin are you trying to be on? The can to the can. Take some time to enjoy the things you worked hard for. So for those of you where this is money, enjoy yourself, but definitely an energy of making sure you're reinvesting with that uh, 
King of Wands. And if there's something, some sort of entrepreneurship avenue you've always wanted to do, maybe that was that, that would be the opportunity to sort of have the funds to invest into it. Don't uh, blow it all and be like, oh shit, I should have started that business that I always wanted to start. Be very um, calculated with how you how you do things, how you move. Don't spend out of emotion. Less emotions right now. Facts over feelings. All right, Pisces, that's your reading. Hopefully it resonates with you. Don't forget to subscribe. See you guys next week.